All right. So, um, yeah, we're going to take a look at something that has a similar motor governing system in it as that um, General Electric motor from the calculator, and it's something that you're probably not going to expect. This is my mother's old Sunbeam Mix Master, electric mixer, stand mixer. Um, I actually, I don't use it as a stand, well, I haven't used it for a while. We found it when we were cleaning out the garage and boxes of old stuff from um, yard sales. And um, this is a model EM-3, 120 volts, AC, DC, 125 watts so this uses a universal motor um, and the reason my mother actually stopped using it was this it's, it's off it actually only stays off if you hold the switch forward so as you can see, if you're using a mixer and you've got it, um, you're scraping the bowl down or something, that can be a problem. But anyway, we see speed control does work on it. Yeah, anyway, pull the plug. Anyway, let's take this thing apart. I've already gone to the liberty of removing the four screws on the bottom that hold it on, hold the cover together, and all we have to do is pull off the speed selector switch. And it should come right apart. Maybe. There we go. And here we have our tiny little universal motor which it's actually mounted in there backwards well sort of backwards the brushes are on this side and the, the fan and the controls on this side here's our worm drive gear drive now this this mixer is from the 1970s and it surprises me that there's actually cloth covered wiring in there I'm not sure what the design of this was or how long this was in production but um, surprisingly enough We've got a resistor here and a capacitor. Granted, much smaller than the ones that were on our General Electric motor, um, but this is also a much smaller um, motor. So let's take a look at this thing and see how. Um, this is our little eject tab for the beaters. Um, but let's see how this thing's wired up and how this works. Um, we've, well, this is a little fan here, and we have a little spring action flyweight right here that, as it spins out, this contracts like that, pushing on that little rod which pushes the tab on this side and this is our actual speed controller right here and as you can see that pushes that back further as you move as you move it to a higher speed and that is our off switch on the other side here so when this is fully forward like that that pulls this other contact out and I'm apologizing about the camera hold on let me see if I can refocus here okay that's better um, this other contact here is our actual off switch when we pull that forward all the way it pulls that back and turns the mixer off well it's supposed to turn the mixer off but it doesn't so while we're in here let's just take this screw here and give it about a turn or half a turn 
and as you can see now when it's fully forward that contact is open so anyway let's see how this thing's wired um, okay we've got our power leads coming in here one going well we're gonna have to take the rest of this apart um, so I can actually get down here and see where where our wires are going so I'm just going to take the covers and everything off and um, just a couple screws and we'll be ready all right so we've got it back together and if you see it's plugged in and it's it's off it's actually off and um, let's turn it on and I also gave the um, bearings a drop of oil each just to help it out a little bit so if you're watching I fixed your old mixer mom as for the Sunbeam Mix Master, it is fixed and working, and that's what's inside a um, basic stand mixer or hand mixer. So, thanks for watching.